fun. Fine, it is great. To... Oh, you couldn't get Oprah, so uh, you bought me. I'll tell me. you something. We don't, we don't want Oprah. We, we don't need Oprah. We, we have you here tonight. And I'm thrilled to be. I was, I was. Uh... But Oprah runs that town, doesn't she? When it comes to TV talk shows, doesn't Oprah? You pretty much got to get Oprah's blessing to she... do anything. Yes. She. It's true. She. Uh, she gave me permission to be here tonight. <laughs> no, she's the best. She is. She is. I'm just a. How many shows do they do out of Chicago? There, they got Oprah. They got you. Who else? They and got Jenny Jones. Jenny Jones. Now that, how's that show doing? I assume it's doing very well. Now, that's well. the show, and I'm not trying to be uh, uh, silly here, but that's a show that killed a guy a couple of years ago, right? <laughs> didn't they? I mean, well, did the they show, kill a guy? Yeah, the show didn't kill a guy. Are you sure? I checked it out. The show didn't kill a guy. Was... And the reason I bring this up is you've got to be very careful, because it looks like, to me, you've got nothing but mayhem going on there. You kill a guy on your TV show, and that a, that's a, gives you a, a black eye. It doesn't do much for the guy that gets killed, either. <laughs> Uh, let's talk a little bit about yourself. You, you've done a lot of things in your life, haven't you? You were a politician in Cincinnati, Ohio? I used to be the mayor of Cincinnati. Yeah. Yeah. Was that your first uh, entree to public life as the mayor? You'd been in yeah. the city council? Or... Yeah, I'd been, yeah, city council mayor was the first public job I had. I started out as a lawyer. And then, yeah, oh, that so was you the started time. as a lawyer? Right. Are you originally from Cincinnati? No, I was uh, born in England. Really? And, uh, yeah. What town and, in uh, England? London. Oh, I've I heard of that. <laughs> <laughs> And I, uh, I left when I was five. I left when I found out I couldn't be king. And then I came over to New yeah. York, uh -huh. Bob Hope. Yeah. And I... Uh, <laughs> Pretty good. It's a credit. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, and then I grew up in New York. Yeah. I grew up right here in New York. And then, yes. But you, it's, it's interesting that you made, uh, had some political success in Cincinnati. And, yes. then, and then after that, you got into broadcasting, right? Right. I was hired by the NBC affiliate in Cincinnati to anchor the news. And mm -hmm. I did that for 10 w years. What station is that? Uh, WLWT. It was Channel oh, 5. Oh, oh and, that's yeah, right. You know, I used Paul to work Dixon. for the same oh, company. They when it used to be Crosley, and then it was AFCO. That's right. Yeah, it was, and, and I, I worked at WLWI. Yeah. Uh, but before that, you, you got you in, tr in trouble with hookers or something? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was. Yeah, I uh, spent time with a uh, woman of the night. And now, I when, that. When, when was this? Was this when you were uh, broadcasting <laughs> or when you were the... Is this... <laughs> No, this is good. I, I thought I was on the David Letterman show. Yeah. Um, well, I guess so, again, Peppy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> See your boys come over. <laughs> there you go. Because they're, right. they're going to check your questions. All right. Now, but, but take us through the chronology of yes. this. Yes. Uh, well, I rang the doorbell. No, 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 no. <laughs> This happened when you were a part of the city council, when you were the mayor? When yes, you were no, before I was mayor. It was five years before uh, I became mayor. Uh, and, yeah. and was there an, an explanation for this? Or you were going through a troubled divorce? Or there was no, a bad was, time? Yeah, you I just made stupid. a mistake. I was dumb and yeah. stupid. Now, were you yeah. arrested for this? No. How did people find out that you were... I told them. You told I, them? I held a press conference and I told people what I did. Right. And so, yeah. now, normally, you would Have, think... When that, was the last time you were in Chicago? Uh, about a year ago. Yeah, you ought to come by and see the show. Okay, fine. Yeah. I'm sorry, did you change the subject, Jerry? Yes. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a yeah. minute. So, but it's, it's interesting yeah. to me that this is like 10, 15 years ago. It's 28 when, years 28 ago. years ago when a revelation like that, uh, I think, carried a little more weight. Yes. Because now hookers are nothing. You know, people, that, that the platform, guys run on that platform. I like hookers. Oh, great. So, <laughs> they, they get elected like that. Yeah. But in those days. It wasn't a good thing. Not a good thing at all. But no. you, you persevered and you survived. Now, did you, did you repent? Did you pay time? Did you pay your debt to society? Was there a debt to society? Who paid the debt anyway? <laughs> How big a debt did you run up, Jerry? 50 bucks. <laughs> Uh, okay, now yeah, let's... I did. I, you know, I resigned from uh, city council at the time, and then the next year I decided to go back and let the people decide. And, they and you, voted. you became mayor, after <clears> that. and they elected me mayor of Cincinnati. Well, yeah. I gotta, I gotta think that says something about you or something about the people of Cincinnati. I'm not sure. <laughs> now let's talk about you know, your talk about your show. It's like the number one rated show <clears> now. Now, how yeah. do you feel about that success? A lot of people say that it's all fake. Uh, the fighting and stuff here. Look. Okay. Today's paper. Yeah, right, right in front of uh, the New York Post, right there. It's a yeah. fake. It's funny that uh, that's the headline on a fake newspaper too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a fake. It's the yeah. pot calling the kettle black. Yeah. Uh, that the fights and all of that are orchestrated. Is that true? I'd say I'd say ninety percent of it is absolutely true. Yes, there are people that come on the show, and I'm sure make up the stories. Mm -hmm. um, most don't. Our producers do a real good job at finding that out. And occasionally, apparently, we have had producers that go over the line and try and get their guests to do things that they shouldn't do. Sure. That's wrong. I want the show to be honest because that's the only way it works. Otherwise, you might as well have a soap opera. Yeah. God bless you. <laughs> Steve Denham. Chicago. Now, now, did you, now, let me ask you this. Does, 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 your, does your show 
does television generally <laughs> have any effect, any real lasting effect on the world today? Your show or television generally have any effect, good or bad? Do you I think? Was, no, my show is plain stupid. I mean, it's just. <laughs> it's just It's not, it has no, it has no effect. Now, why doesn't somebody beat you up? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, listen, I appreciate you coming in for our big Chicago show. Yes. You're the it's king. Great... You're the new queen of daytime television. <laughs> Congratulations, Jerry. Jerry Springer, ladies and gentlemen.